draw a lot of things in my dreams, but uh, I usually pick dreams that I, I would draw about that kind of really stood out a lot. So I would like to say that this particular dream also stood out, and this is what I see. Okay, like I said, the moon was slightly horizontal, and the upper part of the moon, you know, blended in with the blue sky. And I seen this blue, this red dot in the sky. And then I seen the plane make a quick turn in the air. I believe this little red dot has something to do with Mars. Okay? I recall it could be Mars itself. Because uh, later I found out that you, we have a lot of um, planets right now. Uh, and today is uh, May 20th, 2011. Today is a Friday morning. And it's uh, 12, 20 a.m. Okay? So right now as I speak, we have Jupiter close to the moon, uh, close to the sun. We have Saturn close to the uh, sun. We have Pluto, which is also close to the sun. We have Mars, Venus, uh, uh, Uranus, Neptune. A lot of these planets right now are close to the sun, especially Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto. Pluto is like the farthest. Um, okay, then Pluto been demoted. As not a planet, but as a planetoid. But anyhow, this this planetoid object called you know that's called Pluto is near the sun. And he said the last time Pluto was this close to our sun was in 1776, almost you know two or over 200 years ago. And uh, so basically, I'd like to also add that uh, the real, little red dot I see in the sky in this particular dream that I just mentioned uh, was coming close to our. Earth is because of a tenth planet that they call Planet X uh, could have came into our solar system and pushed Mars, you know, towards the Earth, or Mars could have been pushed towards Earth by the second sun that people call Nemesis. Do the research, Google it. There's a lot of things about Planet X. Uh, a lot of things about a dwarf star that they call a uh, nemesis. Another name for planet X is also the Bureau. So Google it and check out uh, these things around uh, in our solar system. And check out the things that are around our sun. And, you know, this go to uh, Soho, S-O-H-O, -O, and that's um, it's run by NASA, where you can look at the sun. And this, you know, stop watching TV for a little bit and take out the iPods and get away from you know, uh, from watching Dance with the Stars and all that stuff and do some research and find out what's actually going on in our space. In our space. Okay, the next number in this piece is the number eight. This piece is called... This piece is called... Six moon slash sun slash comets slash rain or S10 6M slash S slash C slash RD. In the month of February 16, 2011, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I dreamt that I was in. I was in the bathroom and I was in a tub of water on the top floor of my home here at Halston Street. My father knocked on the bathroom door and he said behind the bathroom door we need to talk. Next I found myself outside of my house and I noticed I was carrying an open box and inside this open box I noticed two crabs. One small, I noticed one crab was small and it was another, and our second crab was medium size. And I also noticed a small, tiny robot, uh, a little robot um, that used to be called from the old days, Robbie the Robot. Okay, uh, if you don't know what exactly I mean by Robbie the Robot, uh, try to find a lost, not a lost episode. Go to 
uh, I guess on the internet and go on YouTube and go to an old TV show, a black and white TV show that kind of turned, well, turned color. It's called Lost in Space and you have the robot uh, competing, the robot in the spaceship with um, Will Robinson and, you know, the doctor. And there's another robot that came into the, uh, and you know, into the, um, the family of the Lost in Space people. And this robot had like bubble arms, well, and like a almost like a cone head, where you can see the the mechanical stuff working inside this a glass bubble head. When anyway, he was also called Robbie the Robot, and I seen a small Robbie the Robot in this open box with two crabs. Okay, so I decided to stop walking, and I uh, placed a small box on the ground. And then the two crabs came out, and uh, they was more or less snapping their claws. I believe they were snapping their claws at me. And then the little robot came out the box as well. And he stood there uh, motionless. And then he, the little robot was looking left and right. It appeared that the little robot was alive somehow, or just wind up. And it appeared to me that the robot was trying to decide where should he go. Then I noticed I dreamt about this area before, and I remember there was a White Castle restaurant somewhere in this area, okay? So after I realized I was in this area before, next I found myself waiting at a bus stop with a black girl. This girl was friendly. She smiled at me. The bus we both were waiting for did not show up. So I felt this bus stop, so I left this bus stop, and I'd gone around the corner to wait for another bus and a different bus stop, it appeared to me that uh, I had no particular bus in mind that I was really waiting for, but I more or less in this dream wanted just to get out of the area for some unknown reason. So I was in this new bus stop alone, then the girl that I uh, stood in the first bus stop came around the corner and she noticed I was at this particular bus stop, so she came and waited for a bus with me, okay? And then I uh, notice a, a fence in front of me. So I go to a fence, and this fence uh, uh, more or less was fenced around uh, some, some type of uh, landfill. And the girl came and followed me, and we both looked through the fence and we looked at the trucks moving in this, this landfill. And then I looked up and I noticed the moon. The moon was on the upper right side and the moon was somewhat big and it was very luminous. And I noticed also the sun. And like I said, the moon was very luminous. It was almost as bright brighter than the sun. Then after I took notice of the sun, I believe the sky became uh, somewhat dark out, kind of gray. Then I began to see, uh, last year I seen one comet zip across the sky. Then I seen another comet. And before I knew it, there were two comets slowly crossing the sky. Then I seen a third comet, and a fourth comet, and a fifth comet. And before I knew it, a whole bunch of comets just zipping across the sky and then I became excited. Uh, the reason why I became excited because I took these comments crossing the sky as a sign from God that we are truly living in the last days. And while I was taking notice of these comments, I heard a black lady uh, behind me and she was praising God and uh, she mentioned these words, hallelujah, when she saw the comments. Like, you know, I did as well. And then all of a sudden the sky became dark, really gray. And then, after the sky became really gray, and I didn't see the comets anymore, I began to see very big brown uh, goblets, or things that looked like raindrops, but they were very big, and they were brown.